That's my thing. So Ooh. let's see. Okay. Um, D oh, you always want to know who Charlemagne the God's dunk the other day is. Yes, yes, yes. Did, what did um anybody say something? Oh, I already read what um Emma said. Okay. DC firefighters fired <laughs> after stopping at Chick-fil-A on an emergency call. This <laughs> those are articles where you go, that's fake news. No, no, it gotta not. be fake news, right, y'all? No. Nope. Uh, 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 a uh, DC uh, firefighter who with his partner stopped for fast food while on an emergency call in March. Chick-fil-A. They've been terminated. That's you would think when you hear that article or read it, you would say that's fake news. Two firefighters in EMTs assigned to ambulance number three stopped at Chick-fil-A in Northeast DC around 4 p.m. on March 24th, instead of responding to a call for a woman suffering chest pain at a Kaiser permanent about a mile away. Now, the Chick-fil-A folks should be the donkeys. Why? They I, don't know he was, they was in an emergency. You in a truck, right? That don't mean you in an emergency unless you got your siren going. They just oh, coming so to get they food. Didn't come, oh, see, yeah. I don't know. I don't think you can't blame them. Okay. They don't know. I'm thinking they was on their way and they had their sirens on. Have a blessed day. You can never. I know Chick Fil A would say that. <laughs> I went in to get an order, and the guy, as, as I was going out, the guy, he was um, wiping the tables. He ran all the way over to open the door for me. Uh, he opened the door. He said, "Have a blessed day." I wonder how their orientation is. Chick Fil A. <laughs> Everybody, bow your heads. The firefighter <laughs> said, in their defense, mm -hmm. we had already ordered the food. On the app, when the emergency call came in, they must have turned their siren off. So they decided to stop for literally a few minutes. <laughs> That's and this lady having chest pains, <laughs> according to DC Fire EMS. I gotta get my special report. The special song. The report written by one of the firefighters said there was no delay in patient care of the response. However, sources familiar with the investigation said the reason that the ambulance was assigned to the call is because it was the closest. A trial board heard the terminated firefighters case and a decision was made to end their employment. A spokesperson for DC Fire and EM EMS would only confirm that the firefighter EMT was no longer with the department. Now, Charlemagne gave them donkey of the day, and then he started to back backpedal. Why? They have a guy who works on their station who's part of the Fat Society, and and he always comes in and talks and takes up for fat people or people eating or anything like that. Yeah. And he said, Charlemagne, look at the story. This lady, he's going to take up for people eating all the time. Yeah. He said this story, this lady was complaining of chest pains, yeah. but she was already at a, 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 facility. a medical facility. So what was they coming to get her for? So who else could help a person with chest pains but people at the medical facility? Well, they probably was getting ready to take her to a major hospital. Okay. But the lady was complaining of, of, of chest pains. Yeah. She wasn't in total cardiac arrest. Yeah. So they felt these EMT people, she's not in full cardiac arrest. She's complaining of chest pains. She's at a medical facility. They'll take care of her. We've already made our order at Chick-fil-A. Let's swing by and get our order at Chick-fil-A, and then we'll go pick her up and take her to the hospital. I don't think so. <laughs> you told me when I go to the hospital, not that I lied, but you said let them know you have chest pains. Pain. If you come into the waiting room of a hospital, you will be waiting there for hours unless you have chest pain. And I said, I did really, but they, oh, they went through so many tests. Yeah. I moved ahead of everybody. Everybody. Chest pain. That's number one. You going to get your You can come away. in with a knife in your head and they'll take your name and have you sit down. Mm -hmm. Just don't pull it out. Don't pull it out. Just sit there mm -hmm. and we'll get Hold to it. Hold on to it. But if you come in and say chest pain. Holding it. You up front of everybody. Get her in here. That's a heart attack. And it could be heartburn. Yeah. Chick-fil-A. So he order. tried to take up for the the, the EMTs. Were going, they fat? I'm doubting. They, oh. it, well, they could be. 
No. Not doubt it though. Well, I mean, when you say he takes up for oh, then he said, situation. "Let's all be mindful. This is Chick Fil A." Then everybody in the studio said, "That's true. Chick Fil A, that spicy chicken sandwich." You think about Chick Fil A. There is. <laughs> Y'all listen to this. There is no they excuse. They was being funny. They was being funny. In the world for them to go by their Chick-fil-A restaurant. And, and they ordered it on the app. And then the fat guy said, that's the other thing. If you order on the app, you just run in and get it or you come back out. On the way <laughs> to pick a woman up with chest pain. <laughs> They need to be fired. Now, in fact, don't hire them nowhere else. <laughs> oh, God. And I tell you the same thing with Pertillo's. Order on the app. Then when you go in, it's there. You don't have to wait. In but I'm not going to be in an ambulance. Truck. No, no. I'm saying I say the same thing. Chick-fil-A, I didn't know you could order online. Yeah. All of these, you got to get order online. You can, yeah. Even McDonald's. Mm -hmm. So the fat guy was given a reason why. Mm -hmm. there should. There... That is a donkey. How's she doing anyway? They said she's fine. That's why they don't think they should have been fired. The guy, the EMT. Oh, because she they came out it okay. Affect, it didn't affect her care because they she was at a medical Let's facility. Let's just say for sake of argument, she she has a heart attack and dies. Thank you. And they got a, 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 a nugget in their mouth when they hear the news. And I go a step further to think, I think they was thinking everything we have in the ambulance, they have at that medical facility. Mm -hmm. Taking her to the hospital, Everything we have in the ambulance that we would have been doing, they do it for her right now. And that's not always true because the place where I went at the time mm -hmm. to get um, my treatment for my cancer, it used to be a hospital and they, they shut down the emergency part of it. So any emergencies goes to a, the main hospital and not the cancer treatment place. Right. But they still have that area open for maybe emergencies for us right? or somebody in the neighborhood who's nearby, but they only have so much there to help that woman who's probably got stabbed or shot. They have to come pick her up. But how is that different? And they'll hold on to the wound and tie it up and do what they can do there. But that facility is shut down to do right. major but how is surgeries that, and stuff. How is this different than when you uh, don't have insurance or something and they don't take you to the, the hospital? Near to you. I thought they take you there, but they but they don't accept you. A you lot of them insurance. don't. If you don't, they don't accept. But you. they don't get your. And they gotta take you someplace else. No, because a lot of times when you're emergency, if it's a life or death thing, they don't know you don't have insurance when they put you no. in the in the. Think, think about it, right? If you're going in there, you already under. Okay. Who are they gonna talk to? If nobody comes with you, they don't know you got insurance. Okay. So they may start doing. But I have you, been to an emergency work. rooms and they ask me for my insurance right when I come in. Well, I'm saying what if you were laying on the thing and you couldn't talk? So the best. So then our next thing is cardiac. You have uh, chest yeah. pains <laughs> and pretend like you can't talk. I can't believe they stopped by. If you don't have no good insurance. that's Because if you say what your insurance is, you out of here. They're going to roll you right back exactly. to someplace else. Maybe just pretend like you don't can't talk or you don't understand that language uh, or something. Uh, uh, Blue Cross. you don't have it. Blue Cross. I think didn't um, uh, uh, Grey's Anatomy, didn't they have to do a homeless person? Didn't they have to the surgery on a homeless person? But that was, um, that's Cook County Hospital. Oh, I mean, yeah. it was in Seattle, but it's based Maybe off of Cook County. Maybe that's what it is. Which is a, gov that's a, a government a city. That's a city oh, hospital. Okay. Maybe that's where they take them. All right. All right, y'all. So that was it. <laughs> okay. We went through. We that's didn't have our big stream donkey, lab. Donkey, donkey, donkey. Sorry we couldn't get with you, Wendy. Yeah, we didn't have our stream lab. We got to figure out what's going on. Don't forget. What you my, say, we going We got to work on it and see if it works. Don't forget to like comment and subscribe may hit the like button right now before y'all go out mm -hmm. hit the like button i only so see they do it every time they come on you supposed to like, 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 like.